Welcome. Welcome in. It's Kristen Cruz here on your hometown station, KHTS, talking mom life and parenting every week. Thanks for giving me an hour of your time. Hopefully this is the time you can hang out, chill, unwind, and hear things that you've been wanting to talk about or that are popping up on the playground. When you're talking to other moms, drop off or pick up. You're in the classroom volunteering. We get a little chit-chat time when we're in the in the, uh, in the the workroom cutting 30 different shapes of hearts for every kid or <laughs> making 100 copies for the teacher. We love to help out however we can. And it's fun to talk to other moms and see what's going on out there. And right now, I can tell you this. Um, times are crazy. Times are crazy. My conversations with moms are covering the gamut. We're talking about gluten-free and peanut allergies. In We're talking about school safety and then it's running the gamut of like, I know I should go to the gym. Do you do boxing? Kick? I hear kickboxing is really good for cardio and so hot right now. I mean, it, the topics are all over the place. So you know what? We are complicated women. We're layered. We're smart. We can handle all of this. We got a lot going on. So I try to cover as much as I can here on the mom show. And today I have another totally amazingly strong hashtag girl power boss jennifer saul vp of marketing uh for c'est moi and we're going to talk about it in just a second because uh, it's something that i totally fell in love with thanks to my nine-year-old daughter she is so much cooler than me and so much smarter than me and that's just what happens with our kids right people i know it is it's so true um if you're on facebook hi thanks for joining us cage just does an amazing job producing a Live stream. It is so much fun that we can see radio. Uh, okay, confession. So I was in the car on the way over here. Real quick, real quick. I can't. I can't even tell you. I have half my makeup on. You see the top knot I have going on here. The mom bun happening. I'm wearing the full uniform. Um, I did manage to put on some fancy shoes from my Just Fab account, but that's about all that's fancy happening right here. So I was on. I was juggling. The neighbor's dog got loose. She's pregnant. She has a kid. There's many things happening in my life on the way over here. And then I also had a conference call with a friend of mine who's launching this uh, amazing beauty site. And I was saying to him, he, we were talking about hair and makeup, and I'm like, I'm going to have no time. I'm going to get there late. I'm not going to be able to. And I said, you know, I got into radio well over a decade ago because I knew that I couldn't keep producing music videos for Jay-Z well into my 40s, okay? It was just going to look wrong. Pathetic. I couldn't do it. I wanted to have kids and settle down and, you know, get. I wanted to just put on baby weight and eat carbs, and no one would know because I would be behind a microphone and all they would hear is my voice. It sounded like the best job ever, right? I'm like, wait a minute, I can sit down, drink coffee, and talk, and people will pay me? Yes! So that's part of what lured me in, and then technology happened, and now everybody wants live streams and videos. So we're back to, you know, really? So here I am again trying to put on my makeup while I was on Periscope before the show. I so apologize. I was putting on my eyebrows. I sound like my grandmother. I put on my eyebrows and um, I'm ready for my show. So so that's what's happening in my life today. So we're talking beauty with Jennifer Saul in a moment. We also have the beautiful Bel Air Mommy. Go to belairmommy.com for an absolutely wonderful blog if you are a single mom or you are you have an ex you're dealing with and you're raising kids together, Kathy has the best perspective on how she's doing that in in her life. Um, she's absolutely amazing, and she still keeps things fresh and current. And she's the coolest mom ever right now in Florida at Disney World because Disney flew her out there to show her some new stuff they have. They're like, Kathy, can we get your approval on this? <laughs> you like it? We got to make sure you, you get out here and try it out first because it's not even available to the public until June. So she's calling in from Florida today, Florida today to give us the entertainment report and tell us what's happening in our own backyard because there is something at Universal Studios. Plus, she will review Black Panther, which I know everybody has already seen, except for me. Because I have kids and no life. So Kathy will once again fill me in on what I'm missing out on. And then the Babbel Buzz will cover some topics that uh, the wonderful editors at Babbel sent over to me. You know, Babbel's a part of Disney. And they are always sharing such great stories with me every week so that I can share them with you on The Mom Show. 
All right, guys, let's get Jennifer Saul on the phone. My nine-year-old, Izzy, loves the products that are being put out by Simwa. You will soon be able to get them at your Target store, which I love because I live for Target. Jennifer, how are you today? Thanks for being on The Mom Show. I'm very well. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, now, Jennifer, now Samoa is a new product, and so if you're watching Facebook, you're seeing it live because I have it right here in my hands. Um, Jennifer sent over some, some things for my daughter to try out, and she actually shot an unboxing video because, Jennifer, you work for Jack Pacific. You know everything needs to be unboxed on video nowadays. Yes, That's, it absolutely does. Absolutely <laughs> does. It has to be on YouTube. If you didn't open it on YouTube, it never happened never happened um <laughs> and and so she did a little video for it that she's going to put on her youtube channel uh because she was so excited that she actually had something for herself this is a new amazing skincare and beauty line that is just for girls her age our young tweens and our tweens who so often just fall through the cracks and there isn't enough stuff that's just for them especially if they have an annoying little brother who ruins all their stuff um, and Jennifer solving that with same lot. Now, first of all, tell Jack specific, which is the parent company. Um, can we talk about that a little bit? Because I, I knew that I knew the name and I figured it out. It was the, the Christmas videos we did, um, where we featured squish delish because it was one of the hot toys. So, yep. Squish delish is part of Jack specific. Absolutely. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Jack Jack Pacific has a lot of things going on. Can you talk to that for a minute? I mean, it's got everything. There is a lot happening at Jack Pacific. Um, <laughs> what's What's really exciting about the division that I oversee, um, because we're very focused on beauty, and which is my core competency. I've been in beauty my entire career. Yeah. Um, my entire team. Um, we're We're all moms, and we're all industry professionals Yay. from beauty. So we're an entirely new division to Jacks, um, and and actually quite separate from toy, mm -hmm. just because what we're creating isn't toys. Um, Jack's core competency certainly is toys and consumer products for kids and obviously not only making sure that they're having fun and enjoying something exciting and new and fresh but also very focused on that safety aspect of what we're putting out into yes. the marketplace we that is that is a core competency of our business and so getting getting the chance to create this whole new division focused on beauty and focused on an age group that's very underserviced um, within the beauty landscape yeah. it's it's just been great to be part of such a prolific family um, at Jack's and and yeah all the exciting buzz that is kind of coming out of our building right now. Well, Jennifer, you have a huge background in beauty, and 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 that's you know she has a resume as long as my arm. She knows what she's doing. Uh, but I love that you're partnering with Jax because I feel like they really get what kids want, like what young people want. Like they they always just it blows my mind how they really know what my kids are going to just absolutely love and how to speak their speak. They speak their language, you know, which I think Absolutely. is it's a fantastic company. It's a fantastic company. This is an absolutely genius thing. And congratulations on what you're doing. I mean, how often do you get like a massive company to start a whole new division? They're like, we'd like you to run that. Thanks. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes, it, it's a nice, it's a nice opportunity. And it's, it's great to be able to um, have such incredible cross-functional teams here that, that support the brand. Um, you know, when you're starting a, a new beauty business, it takes a, a tremendous amount of capital um, to mm. keep it going and to also make sure that you're substantiating everything about your business. So that means the testing. That means all of those details that go into development and making sure that you have the money to support all of that. And mm -hmm. that is, is, is so crucial and especially making sure that you're putting something that is very safe, tested over and over and over again for, for who it's servicing. And, and these are our kids. And it's, it's really essential to make sure that that piece is taken care of. And so, yep, having Jax is it's, it's an incredible family here. It's the best. It's the best. If you guys don't think you know Jax, by the way, you can always just Google it. But it's literally everything from, like, the chocolate egg maker to Sum Sums, like Disney Sum Sums. Like, absolutely and everything in between. So your kids already love this company. And if a company has been making this many products that are safe and fun and that our children already like and have been growing up with, then it's kind of a natural progression to have them help us raise now 
kind of young teenagers. And it's a whole new ball game. And I have to say, <laughs> how old are your kids, Jennifer? My kids are seven and two. Oh, okay. All right. So do yeah. you have girls? So they're are... still young. Well, they're still yeah, young. yes, they are. But, oh, my gosh, it goes in a flash, I'm telling you, Jennifer, because I have a five and a nine. So we're not far off from each other. Right. Yes. <laughs> and do you have boys or girls? I have a boy and a girl. Okay. So I'm pretty pretty lucky and very you have happy. have one of each. Yeah. Yes, me too. Yeah, one of each. Do you have the, the little brother boy or big boy? I have a big boy. Okay. So you did the other way around. I had the... Yes. I got duped into having the second kid because my first one was my daughter, who is a precious angel who does nothing wrong ever. And then I had a second kid, which was my son, which totally flipped my life on its head. So welcome to parent. I don't think I was a real mom until I had my son. (laughs) Now I earned that card. Um, So, you know, kids grow up so fast. And Izzy's nine. And she got a box of Samois. And I have to tell you, here's my mom brain, and I know I'm not the only one because ever since I learned about you, and I, you know, thank goodness we got connected because this is something that I'd actually been lamenting with other moms about that we really don't have access to. My daughter at night, she's nine. She's a little on the young side. but but And, and by the way, she's a young nine. Like, she still watches cartoons and you know, wears like Zootopia pajamas That's and stuff. That's good. Keep her young. <laughs> I do, right? Yes. Applause. I love keeping her young. But thanks to Robin Doyle, who is the bomb um, at Charmed PR, we got to hook up together, Jennifer and I, with, with this through this brand. This is really what brought us together as moms. And I, at night, would I knew my daughter needed to clean her face. Okay, this is my first step. I knew she needed to clean her face. I knew she needed some sort of nighttime routine that I wanted her to get into. Um, I remember learning that a nighttime routine was really good for my skin by watching my mom when I grew up, when I was growing up. But I didn't, I knew I couldn't use her fancy stuff that she had, like her fancy Clinique stuff. It was really expensive. So not only that, but I don't want to give Izzy the same skincare things that I'm using because her skin is young and delicate and perfect and beautiful. And I don't want to put those harsh, harsher things on her face. So I had literally nothing. And then we found you and now she has same moi and it made her feel, I could cry. Seriously, Jennifer. (laughs) Great. Jennifer's like fantastic. A crying testimonial. Just what I wanted. Um, This is good. It's real. (laughs) But in all honesty, Izzy doesn't have anything of her own. Like, her little brother steals everything. Steals the spotlight, like, commandeers her room. I wake up in the morning a lot of times. He'll be, like, in sleeping on her floor in her room. Like, he somehow Mm -hmm. wandered in there in the middle of the night. She doesn't even have her own space. So the fact that she has her own skincare little routine here, little Miss 9-year-old Izzy, is is such a beautiful, empowering thing for her to own and to take care of herself and to know that she's responsible for her body and to take good care of it. It, it. And it also kind of brought us together as girls as well in a really cool way. And I just, I, I think that's a, something about saying why that maybe you guys didn't set out to do, but it is totally, it, it has that effect. It's exactly what we set out to do. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's, a, real, it's a real emotional time yeah. Yeah. in a girl's life. And, and, and at any stage that she's starting to, to use products, you know, it's, it's that bond of that, you know, recommending products, passing something down through the generations. I mean, I remember, you know, back even talking to my grandmother when I was a young girl about beauty and her beauty routine and my mother. And, and I, I, I grew up actually in a household that sold Mary Kay. So oh. I, I'm very much cut from the cloth of, you know, there's always been this kind of like passage, passage, rites of passage of passing down these beauty rituals and being able to talk about them. And that became a bonding, um, an everlasting bonding moment between my, my sisters, myself, my mom and my grandmother. Um, but, but even beyond that, when you, when you speak to the beauty landscape, there really is nobody and nothing out there that is thoughtfully and effectively formulating for this age group 
and their skin. You see so many brands out there that are casting this gigantic net. They're just trying to catch everybody and say, okay, this product is a one-size-fit-all for you. Or they're telling tweens and teens, you have acne. Here's an acne system. Mm. And uh, quite frankly, not every one of these girls has acne. They don't. And it's just they just want to be able to wash their face with something clean and effective that's made for their gentle skin type. And, and, and it really needs to be really taking care of their delicate skin. It's about not disrupting the delicate skin barrier that's there. And too many brands, unfortunately, when it comes down to the chemistry of things, they're utilizing ingredients that are way too harsh. They haven't done the proper testing to ensure that they aren't going to disrupt the skin. And they're riddled with toxic ingredients. And so Samoa has really, really, really taken at the forefront of the brand the ingredient safety piece. It's, it's so important to us. We've partnered with the Environmental Working Group. Our products are EWG verified, if you don't that's, know anything about the that's EWG. That's hard to do, by the way. Yes, it's not, you it's don't not know. simple to do. Yeah. <laughs> and mm-hmm. so we've, we've jumped through a million hoops of fire mm-hmm. to bring this brand um, not only to the marketplace, but to create something that does make girls feel like they're special and supported. You know, when you're walking through your adolescence, and even as a mom, I don't know, it's such a nostalgic piece. Because you're looking at yourself and reflecting upon what you went through at her exact age. Mm-hmm. And you see a lot of yourself in your own daughter. And you're looking at her, and it, it's just you're kind of thinking about what you went through. And, and for me, my adolescence was absolutely tumultuous. I mean, my, <laughs> my, my skin was a, was a nightmare. I was, you know, super skinny, redhead. I had a lot of things going against me. Let, let, let me, it's it just, it's, it was not a pretty picture back then. And, and you kind of think about what were you doing at that time? What were you trying to do? What did you think about yourself? Um, but, uh, you know, what was beautiful to you? Who were, what were you emulating or what were you idolizing? And I feel like just in this, in this time where we're really not only trying to uplift each other as women, you know, supporting our girls, and, mm-hmm. and empowered women are, are, you know, are those that empower our young girls. And it's, it, it all goes hand in hand. And this brand is so much more than a beauty brand. We really want this to be a symbol for youth and that, that, that gleaming example of what it means to support a young girl during this time in her life. Yeah. And it totally does. Sam Waz, a VP of Marketing. Jennifer Saul is on the phone with the Mom Show. Right now I'm Kristen Cruz and looking at the Sam Waz Instagram page, which I love, which I think you should follow. And, and if your kids are on Instagram, it's all about positivity. It's hard to find on social media. But everybody's dressed nicely and um, doing nice things and <laughs> being nice to each <laughs> other on this page. All things that we want our kids to see. Um, you can also see that on the page, you can at the same uh, Instagram page. It says find us at Target.com. Now I know you were going. At, last I read, it was about to be launched at Target. Is it now on the shelves there yet? It's not on shelf just yet. Okay. So we are at we are at Target.com. We, we have find, it first. Yay! Ah, you have it first. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, you can find our products at Target.com right now. So you can search same wall. Um, and say mom means it's me in French, just in case anyone was um, wondering. But so yeah, cute. it's it's really it's really about that that moment of self expression, self discovery. We wanted a brand to it's be me. synonymous with that movement of being being comfortable in your own skin and embracing who you are. Um, but yeah, so. So samewa.com also uh, our own uh, we have our own e-commerce business as well. So you can also find the products at samewa.com. Yes, I um, encourage you now. to check that out. Yes, and you know what? I'm putting it on right now. If you're seeing me on Facebook, I'm putting on some of the gentle uh, sunscreen. It's a mo- it's a mineral sunscreen lotion. Uh, my daughter, they've heard me, uh, Jennifer, on the show talk about mm-hmm. her allergies to different skincare products. She's very sensitive skin. I'm the opposite. My skin's made of leather and I'm good. I can do, you can do anything. You can pull my hair. You can put anything. I have no, no problems with anything. She is sensitive head to toe. Everything. I mean, I yep. can't even brush her hair. Like she just, everything's sensitive. And um, she's actually learned that about herself and is hesitant about using certain SPFs and looks at people's SPFs to see what it is before they try to slather it on her. Like in a, you know, a sporting event or something. So yeah. this is 
just so you know, if you look at this, this is gentle enough for Izzy skin. There's no fragrance. I was smelling it. If you saw me on, on Instagram smelling my hand, oh, what am I smelling? Um, no, there's no fragrance. There's no smell. It's fragrance-free. It's paraben-free. It's, it has no sulfates. And, and the thing about fragrance that you, you need to know is that there are so many crazy things that can be hidden under the name fragrance. You don't even want to know. Um, and there's no fragrance in this. So it's, it, these products are really well thought out. Like they're so thoroughly thought out and look, just read the, reading the packaging. I was like, so blown away. Dermatologist tested, clinically tested on sensitive, sensitive skin, hypoallergenic. That's also a hard thing to get on your product box. Fragrance free sans parfum. Uh, that's French for no perfume. You didn't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a really well thought out brand and I, I just absolutely appreciate it. I love it, and I'm so glad that Izzy has it, and I hope everybody goes and gets it for their kids to help them feel special. I think it is a wonderful thing. Jennifer, are you just loving your job right now? It is so fun. I do. I do love my job. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a passion. It's a passion with a purpose. And, yes. And everyone, everyone on my team here, we, we all – just we really enjoy coming to work every today every every day and, yeah. and collaborating with each other because what we're doing means so much to us all of us are moms we know that there's such a huge void in the marketplace we need to be able to take care of our girls and give them something that makes them feel special and also you know is accessible when you take a look at a lot of the natural and seemingly natural products out mm. there mm. you know a lot of them come with a really hefty price tag um, so it's a little bit tough for mom to make some of those better choices, mm -hmm. but then she's looking at her other options and all she really probably sees is baby products. So it's not mm -hmm. really made for her. Yeah. And so it's, it's really com coming to work every day and knowing that we are servicing a need. Um, you know, even the focus groups that we conducted with both moms and girls, because believe me, when it came to the development of this line, you know, we really, you have to sit and listen to the consumer. You can't just fictitiously make things up you've got to really listen yeah. as you're developing and all of them felt like there really was not a brand that they trusted and there wasn't one that they felt was made for yeah. them yeah. and moms really were confused they're like i have no idea what to buy for my daughter mm -hmm. what is in this what is in that i feel like i'm questioning so many things mm -hmm. and confused by ingredients um, but at the end of the day our brand is very focused on clean ingredients being formulated for safety, made specifically for young, delicate skin types. And we will not put fragrance in our skincare or color cosmetics because it is disruptive. It just is absolutely disruptive to their skin. Yeah, and our, their fragile little female bodies that are growing up, um, we need to be careful with, with uh, what we're putting on their skin because that is your biggest organ of your body is your skin guys and it all soaks right in there and gets inside your body so we need to be careful about that moms i think are savvy and smart and they know that and we we re, we turn the package around and we read it and so this um doesn't underestimate our intelligence this is the real deal so thank you so much jennifer i love it you guys from makeup crayons to moisturizers to lip glosses my little one likes to put on her little lip gloss before she does her youtube videos it's totally clear it's adorable um it's all right here in same and i'm so excited to introduce you to the brand on the mom show jennifer saul you are a rock star mom boss thank you so much for doing this what you do every day and thank you so much for talking with me on the show today Thank you so much for the time. It means so much to me. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. Let's talk again soon and touch face. See how everything's going, okay? Absolutely. Take care. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, Jennifer Saul from Simwa, VP. Total, all the mom. There, she said everybody in her office is like moms. I love that. Hashtag mom boss. Dig it. And you can tell because they know what they're doing with this product. I'm so excited about it. I love it when I can share new stuff with you. All right. Next up, it's the Bel Air Mommy calling in from Florida. We'll keep our fingers crossed. You're listening to your hometown station, KHTS. Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Hello? Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access yeah, to Cody? Hey, it's Kathy. There are three locations Hi, honey. Sorry, I was just bounced around from the operator office. Go to sdfhc.org for more information okay. and to find a location awesome. that's convenient for you.
Live life juiced up and juice it up Valencia. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Our great tasting smoothies, okay, protein bye. shakes, acai, and wheat. Grasp for your healthy lifestyle on the go. Also, enjoy our 10 flavors of tantalizing zinc frozen yogurt and selection of healthy toppings. Juice It Up Valencia is located at the corner of Newhall Ranch Road and Copper Hill Drive in the Office Depot Plaza. Open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. until 9 p.m. and Sundays from 8 until 8. And remember to live life juiced up at Juice It Up Valencia. Team training, life changing. F45 Training Stevenson Ranch on Lions Avenue just east of Wiley Canyon. At F45, they have fun. They've created their very own way of functional training so you can train the way you move in everyday life. The F45 style combines both strength and conditioning. Working with friends, you can be assured of results, not boredom. Download the F45 app today. Select Stevenson Ranch in the two-week trial and book into classes right away. F45 Training Stevenson Ranch. Come join the family. The Santa Clarita Artists Association has a new gallery in downtown Newhall on 6th Street between Main and Railroad, right across from the Canyon Theater Guild. The gallery features our members' paintings, sculptures, and one-of-a-kind handcrafted gift items. Whether you're an art lover, buyer, or an artist wishing to join, visit our website at santaclaritaartist.org, come to our free monthly meetings at Barnes & Noble, or stop by the gallery. For upcoming events and exhibits, check us out at santaclaritaartist.org. We make visual art visible. It's Kristen Cruz here on your hometown station podcasting every week and live at KHTS for moms and parents everywhere. Made for the Valley, but really loved and shared by everybody. So thank you so much for being here. I've got something for you. That's for sure. We talked beauty. We talked teens, tweens, motherhood. We had a mom boss VP of marketing on from a huge toy company that just, just launched a beauty brand that you will soon be seeing on Target. But first it was on the mom show with me. And now we have Miss Kathy Kopka, who you know as the Bel Air Mommy, blogging at thebelairmommy.com, who is calling in from Florida. But what are you doing, Kathy Copcut? Hello. How are you guys? Okay. Your Instagram is blowing up. The, the photo, <laughs> she is on fuego right now. You have to follow Bel Air Mommy, M-O-M-M-I-E. Okay. Yes. Because she is doing so much fun stuff, and I swear, she's down there with Disney people looking at things that the rest of us don't even get to look at until like June. Yes. What? It's like what are you land. doing Toyland over there? Amazing. I am. Toyland. I am here for a Disney social media mom, okay. and we are being shown all the next best greatest things and the next movies that are coming up. They showed us movies for Christopher Robbins, um, the, the new Christopher oh. Robbins movie that that's coming out. Oh I gosh. cried like a baby. <gasps> cried like a baby. I loved the Winnie the Pooh movie. It killed yes. me. The Zoe it, Deschanel, it was, like, oh, I, oh, I cried. It was, yeah, it's amazing. That's amazing. Wrinkle in time. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm walking Wrinkle by the bus station. Um, I'm so sorry. They just dropped us off at Epcot. Ah! And so now I'm walking into Epcot, and I'm hearing the buses right now. I love um, Epcot's like my favorite. I know I'm a nerd, but I love Epcot so much. Listen, the reason why we came to Epcot today is because you can drink the there. That it's, it's Margarita oh. Day. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> you cannot get alcohol in the Disney parks, but you can over at Epcot. That's oh. right. That's right. And Epcot's got all the different worlds, um, drinks from all the different worlds here. So it'll be fun so to fun. test it out. It really is. You can be having wine in France and beer in Germany all within 15 right? minutes. It's right? truly amazing. And That's by the fabulous. way, isn't it fabulous? And they, it's it's so relaxing. It's all kid-friendly still. You'll still get like, um, you know, Anne-Marie the cat. Marie, the big white cat from you know, right from the Aristocats. You'll still have her entertain the kids while behind you in Paris, there's a gorgeous perfume shop that mommy can shop at and then yes. like amazing wines. So it's I kind of tell you, one everything. One of the things I love around here with all the restaurants, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, is that everyone's got kids. So when their kids are all screaming and yeah. your kids start screaming, you really don't care. Nope. Everybody's You're good. Like, yeah. It's You're like, a, all right, catch you on the flip. We're all doing good. <laughs> judgment-free zone at, at Disney total. properties are judgment-free. Total. I mean, yes. the kids are eating. They're dropping their food. Like, Preston, he, he spilled his macaroni and cheese on the ground last night. And I was like, 
okay, no one's going to be swooping out. This is a good thing. So it was just, it's nice. It's so cool. I'm so glad. Okay, so now you're going into Epcot. And, and if you I guys am. haven't been there yet, um, there's a huge Epcot ball. Do you remember when we were growing up? I remember when Matt and I went there for the first time. My husband and I, we're about the same age, and he's, Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, what I meant was he's way older than me, and um, (laughs) we went to high school together, but somehow he's way older than me. He's way older than you. Yes, and way, and then we we were saying how we remember when we were little, when Epcot was first being advertised, I I thought the whole park was inside the ball. I thought it was just a big ball. (laughs) Oh, you're so funny. And you went oh in God, there. Oh, my God, that's awesome. And that's, like, that was it. That was it. Like, that's what it was. I don't know. Oh, my but God. Just so you know, well, that's it, not it. <laughs> but No, that's not it. It's just the ball. The ball is for display. Yeah. It's just for display. <laughs> but anyways, um, that was actually Izzy's first um, Izzy's first ride. Her first roller coaster ride was at Epcot. So oh, funny. well, we're, gonna, we're actually going to go to the Frozen ride. There's a Frozen ride here that everyone's oh. been raving about. And we're going to go and experience that because okay. everyone's saying how wonderful it is. So, Kathy, when you're walking into Epcot right now, taking us yes. uh, with you, um, do you have, like, a special badge? Are you with, like, a special group of people? I, you're with we the are. Disney. We're with um, Disney Social Media Moms, and there's 150 influencers, bloggers here. Well, we're not all here at Epcot right now, but everyone's kind of spread out in all the different parks because we had our meetings in the morning, and then um, when the meetings finally gave up, we, we uh, are able to spend the day with our families. I'm here with my dad and my kiddo. Okay, how lucky is Kathy right now? But just so you know, I know you're super jealous. I mean, I am. I, I'm jelly. <laughs> but let me tell you what, only 150 in the world. Like, it's crazy. So you have to work hard to become one of these Disney Mom influencers that they select. Just so you know. you got to love Disney. you, you got to love it. Love it. And they test you, and they quiz you, and you, you have to write blue. like an essay. Yeah. It's a whole <laughs> thing. It's like getting into college. It's a thing. No, I don't know about that, but there you go. <laughs> but so Kathy's, Kathy's over there. She's worked hard, so she's going to have a little fun now. But before yes. we let her go have fun, yes, ma'am. we need her to do some work here on my show. Yes. So yes. what is I happening know. in our backyard? Let's go back over to the West Coast real quick. We've got two things, a hot movie and something hot up at Universal. First, everybody's seen Black Panther by now, Kathy. I think. $404 million opening weekend. Four hundred and four. Is that a record? Insane. That's a record, That's right? Insane. Like That's the, a record. The, biggest the movie ever. is phenomenal, and if you haven't seen it, you've got to see it. You literally have to see it. Um, children, I would say 16 and up. Really? I, I say, yeah. There's a couple of scenes in there that are... Unless they're, you know, unless you've taken them to Marvel movies before, okay. um, then it's totally your call. But I would say yeah. sixteen and up. Well, let me see what Cody. Let's see what the the guys think about this. Andrew, wait, Andrew, ah. right? Andrew, Andrew, and Cody are here with me, and they're both like okay. young men, young young okay. men, strapping young men. And no. what would you say about? Because you've both seen it, right? See, they because they don't have kids. Cody, you have to give me your man card now. It has been revoked. I'll make it eventually, sooner than later. Oh, but, my know. gosh. He's waiting for it to come on Netflix. Netflix. What? Yeah, really. What? You can't, you, no, he's not really. But you have to see it on the big screen, right, Kathy? Yes. You have to see it on the big screen. There, there's nothing else oh. on the big screen. Especially with the – Cody, what about the car scene when they're on the Lexus chasing the guys down? You can't see that on Netflix. Right, Andrew? I am. I am very – I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I just have not quite oh my made gosh. it yet. Cody, geez. Oh, leave now. Andrew, Cody, come over. Cody, we're done with Leave you. Leave now. Bye. Cody, go to, go to the AMC and see the darn movie. <laughs> Andrew, do you think 16 and up is a good call? About 16? Yeah, because cause it really cause that's pretty high as far as age. Usually when Kathy and I are talking oh, movies, yeah. we let the younger kids in. But 16, that's a pretty high age. Because there's a couple of scenes in there that are um, okay. Okay. very – it, they're brawls, like they're they're brawls, the fight scenes, and and people, a couple of people die, you know. So Ooh, it's very okay. um, graphic. Okay. Okay. And so um, I don't want to scar any kid yeah. child. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm with <laughs> I you. Do I want to get that email. Uh, right? No, and you know what? I always skew on the safe side with things. I am always so yeah. boring and so yeah. I'm always the party pooper. That's yes. that's who I am. See, I'm so more on the I'm safe with you. side because you know what? I don't want you to be like, you said, I'm like, oh, my God. So mm-hmm. I say it's up to the mom. But it's not yes. something I would take Preston to because I know that he'd be no. kind of a little scared. 
Yeah. But um, Preston's four. Sylvia, but my yeah, but I, the movie is fantastic though. Oh my god. Okay. And then okay. the toys that came out with it. Oh. M G. Really? There's a toy that came out, and um, it's a glove, just like Black Panther. You put your hand in it, and it gives you the claws, and it gives you the sound effect. It's super cool. Mom needs Disney one of did those. A great job. Yeah, yeah. Do your homework. Need one of those. Yeah, we all need one of those. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, Disney did a great job with that. All right. So, do you have any footage or interview or anything that we need to link up to? For that one that we can I see. I do. I sent it. I think I sent it. To yes. You were Cody, but it is on my site also. Okay. Um, on, on the Bella on Mommy. my Instagram page on Bella Mommy, and it's there. And it, and um, I asked Lupita because Black Panther is such an amazing movie that um, the women are strong. They are the backbone of the country, and they were, you know, unapologetically beautiful, strong, ah. smart, just savvy. And I asked Lupita how she felt about, you know, portraying such an amazing character. And so that's, that's the video that I, I posted. Mm. And she, because she had answered my question. Okay, I love that. And, I, and I'm a big embracer of the fact that you can be beautiful and fierce at the same time. Like, you can be feminine and strong and get it done at the right. same time. And I, I just, you know, and a, a lot of characters, I mean, Hollywood's been guilty of marginalizing women. Whether We have, either have to be, you know, just totally uh, subservient beauties or just arm candy, or we have to be these, like, really mas- emasculate, like masculine army moms or whatever. And it's just like, hey, 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 we can no, be I- both. We can be both, and what was great was that the women were all friends. They each knew who and what they brought to the table without being um, oh, insecure wow. about their own well-being. So, I mean, how do I say this? They were, they were just, they knew who, what every person brought to the table, and they accepted everyone, and that was beautiful. And they just let That's that person do their job. They, like, yes. didn't yes. try to. They, weren't, they didn't feel like, oh, my God, this person's prettier than I am, or they're doing better than I am. Wow. It was a matter, yeah. No, this the is like a lesson for, for girls to learn how and to get along or something. That's exactly what, and that's you. why I was asking Lupita, I go, how do you feel about, you know, you've created this, um, you're teaching girls, don't be apologetic if you're smart, don't dumb yourself down. Mm. This is amazing. And, and she went into the whole, yeah, you know, that's the way it should be in general. Mm-hmm. That, you know, as, as women, we should acknowledge one another. And how does she put it? She goes, uh, one rose isn't prettier than the other. They just smell differently or something to that effect. And it was, oh, it was beautiful. Her answer was right. amazing. Yeah. We need to see this video. So go yes. to Bel Air Mommy on Instagram or com is where she posts everything. So you can go there. Yes. Um, I think that is a really super cool interview. That's like check cool that off interview. your list type of yeah. like, you know, bucket list yes. interview. Um, okay. So Kathy Copcott always where the action is up at universal. Yes. And now uh, you were up at universal and s- seeing things that I don't, I never saw there. There's new stuff happening at universal studios, universal Hollywood guys. Studios Hollywood was super fun. It's the Chinese New Year, as we all know. Yeah. And they have, um, Kung Fu Panda they did a whole exhibition of it, and Mr. Ping is there. They've got the restaurants there, and I just yeah. Mr. I Ping. crack myself up sometimes because I was like, okay, I walked up and I interviewed Mr. Ping, you know, the goose, and yeah. I just interviewed him. I said, sir, are you a duck? Are you, what are you? He goes, I'm a goose, and I said, are you worried about people cooking your goose? And he was screaming for, for the panda. He's like, where's my son? Where's my son? It was just, you know what, they did such an amazing job with um, the Chinese New Year and with the characters, and all the characters are there. You can take pictures with um, the Minions. You can take pictures with Mr. Ping. You take uh, pictures with the Kung Fu Panda. I mean, it was it, they, it's beautiful. They did a wonderful, wonderful wow. job of it. That's yeah, so great. Fun. You guys know, by the way, that you know Chinese New Year isn't just one day. I think it ended like today or yesterday, but like as far as like on the calendar. But correct. The great thing is that you know they they celebrate the New Year for like two weeks, which is that's what I'm talking about. Like that's a party. So I tell you, that's the way it should be. Right? Partying life, celebrating life. Right? I know. Come and on. then they had these wishing trees up, and it was beautiful because mm. then you could um, write out your wish and you'd hang it on the tree. I oh, mean, I it was just so, that. the culture is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was so nice to see Universal, um, you know, celebrating Absolutely. the culture and, 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 and um, just 
just educating all of us. I, I mean, love it was just that. really nice. It was fun. You know, every fun. year for the Chinese New Year, we have friends who are from China, and and they invite us um, over for making dumplings by hand. Oh, and they oh, make hundreds of them. I mean, it is just like in Kung Fu Panda 3 when they find the village and all the kids have like mounds and mounds of dumplings. Yeah, yeah. And the little kids are looking at him and they're like, and Jack Black, wait, I can't remember Kung Fu Panda's name. Um, and <laughs> Jack Black's holding chopsticks. Jack Black the panda is holding chopsticks. And the little yes. kid goes, what are those? Right, and he's like, for eating dumplings, like you eat them one at a time. Time, one at a time. So I knew right. I wasn't living up to my potential. So, you know, yes, that's right. But they, we really make, we make hundreds of dumplings for the Chinese New Year, and um, and the kids go and they learn how to do it. My kids and a couple of their friends, and we've been getting together with these kids that they went to kindergarten. My daughter went to kindergarten with for years. And they make their Chinese dumplings. And then my friend Kelly always gives them a little red envelope with a couple of dollars in oh, it. Oh, how nice. Yeah, for good oh, prosperity. And it's got to be new dollar bills. Yes, they are. They're crisp yes. dollar bills. Yes. That's so yes. interesting. I was wondering why they were. So they, it needs to be new dollar bills. Okay, I didn't they know They need that. to be new dollar bills. Okay. Correct. So it's prosperity and then teaching them what prosperity Correct. means. We ate a bunch of, of, of uh, little little snacks, too, that she had her mom send over um, for the kids, too. So it was really fun. It was really educational. It was fun. It's something that I think we, you know, we need to show our kids how everybody celebrates different you. holidays. Oh, Absolutely. Are you fixing the baby? What's he got I'm fixing Mr. Preston, yes. He's Mr. like, Mom, Preston. I need to go to the bathroom, so we need to find a bathroom. Oh, <laughs> oh, are you taking us with you? Where are you going? We're, no, we're not okay. going to go to the bathroom. We're not going to go to the I love you, but I don't love you that much. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> You know, you could, you know, I mean, I, if I could help. Thank but you. Okay, so Kathy Cupcut, <laughs> so wrapping it up, Universal is, is having some really hot stuff going on right now. I mean, they really, and you know what? They're stepping you can up. find tickets on Travel Zoo right now for Universal also. Oh, yeah? Oh, I love your yes. tips on, on yes. prices. All right, yes. so Travel Zoo has some great prices for us for Universal Studios Hollywood. Kathy Cupcut, the Bel Air mommy, is in Epcot Center right now with her gorgeous son. I love you. I love and I love you and I love him so much. He's so beautiful. Um, Thank you. He has to go potty though, so she's gonna have to go. go And I I um, love you guys. I love you too. Is everything okay with the lockdown with the school? Yeah, everything's okay. We had a little SCVI, a little thing going on this morning, but everybody's good. So, and you guys can always check that KHTS on Twitter. Follow it. I mean, that's how I got my update this morning. I shared it with a bunch of moms at school. They were like, "We didn't even know." I'm like, "Well, now you do. That's why we have local news." So now there you, you go. do. Now you I need your finger. All right, I love I you. Need- have a safe trip and have fun. And I can't wait to see more pictures on Instagram. So keep posting. Your Thank Insta you. stories are I the have- best. Okay, love. Bye-bye. Bye bye. You love. Bye, love. Bye. 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 <laughs> Kathy Cupcut, BelairMommy.com. You can always read what she's got going on on her website. Follow her Instagram. Her Insta stories are so fun. And she often shares videos with us from behind the scenes that are like before anybody else gets to see them. It's really nice for her to do that. So she'll go to movie premieres, talk to a bunch of stars, and send them over to the mom show so that Cody can post them up for us and we can all see it before everybody else does, which I think is really a fun thing too. So um, we hope she has fun over there at Epcot Center. Now, one thing that I do at Epcot Center every time I go and I've been plenty of times because uh, I used to broadcast live from the Disney cruise ships that went out of the port there in Florida and went down to the Bahamas and um, you know of course that's the Caribbean so Pirates of the Caribbean was always uh, the fun theme on the ship you know the first night the big party and the fireworks and then we'd go to Castaway Key which is Disney's private island which is like it is literally like it is it's what it's what the beach would be if Disney made it, which is what they did. There was no island there. They actually brought in millions of tons of sand and built an island that didn't exist. Like, Disney wants it, and they make it happen. Um, and we had a great time, but we would always go to Epcot, and we'd always stop in Paris, in Epcot. And they had a, an IMAX movie that I highly recommend. It's so relaxing. It's beautiful. And then they have wine, which I always got some of. And perfume which I always bought a little bottle of like fancy French perfume and we did that every year to kind of commemorate us going to Epcot Center well this actually segues perfectly into my last uh part of the mom show Babbel editors at Disney Babbel at babbel.com uh pose a question 
are moms normalizing uh, wine drinking in our mommy community so much that it's actually normalizing alcoholism for women in America? Ah, uh, that is such a deep discussion. All right, so we're going to jump into this a little bit. I'd love to hear your comments on Facebook. You can also always call 298-KHTS anytime. And that's coming up next with me, Kristen Cruz, on your hometown station, KHTS. The best live theater can be found right here in the Santa Clarita Valley. The Canyon Theater Guild has been entertaining audiences for decades with top quality musicals and plays. Located on Main Street in Old Town New Hall, CTG also offers workshops for the young actor in your family. For more information, call the box office at 799-2702 or go online to canyontheater.org. When you're looking for a midnight snack, sometimes fast food just doesn't cut it. California Bakery and Cafe is open 24-7, so you'll be able to find fresh donuts, danishes, bagels, all-natural fruit juices, gourmet sandwiches, and much more at any hour. With elaborate cakes for any occasion, including weddings, baptisms, anniversaries, corporate events, or any special event, California Bakery and Cafe in Santa Clarita is open 24 hours to satisfy any craving, anytime. Call us, 255-1254. That's 255-1254. California Credit Union, the only credit union in Santa Clarita focused on our educational community. California Credit Union offers low rates on loans for personal and business services, along with financial services for teachers, students, staff, and families. Free checking and very low new and used auto loan rates. California Credit Union, your personal credit union, located in the River Oak Shopping Center next to Target. Visit us and open an account today. Insured by NCUA, an agency of the federal government. It's Kristen Cruz podcasting for moms and parents everywhere from the hometown station KHTS. We're just uh, talking in here a little bit during the break about entertainment and movies and how everybody on the planet has seen Black Panther by now, right? $404 million it made on the opening weekend, breaking records. So, you know, everyone must have seen it by now, except Cody. Cody has not seen it. Cody's the only person in America that hasn't seen Black Panther. I read that in the on the KHTS website this morning on the news. Um, so, but we were just, uh, Andrew tossed out there that, you know, he should get a movie pass. And the funny thing is, have you ever even heard of a movie pass? It's not the subject matter I'm talking about. I'm going to segue right into drinking wine in about three seconds. But 